I'm sure you've heard of the Food Pyramid, the almighty nutritional guide made by the government that's supposed to give us optimal health. What if I told you the food pyramid is actually just straight up garbage and a recipe for obesity? Like if I wanted someone to get as fat as possible, I would just get them to follow the traditional food pyramid. So in this video, I'll uncover the lies and the corruption behind the food pyramid and I'll offer an alternative framework for a healthier lifestyle. I'll also expose why the traditional food pyramid is failing us, how it's leading us to increasing rates of obesity. And most importantly, I'll share what I think the food pyramid should actually look like. So the food pyramid was introduced by the American government in 1992. Guess who it was created by? You would imagine that they get a group of the best experts and scientists in the world to think of a nutritional guide that everyone can follow. Well, unfortunately, the rights to create the food pyramid were sold to the highest bidder, not actual scientists. So experts were hired to construct the food pyramid. And more than half of those experts actually had investments or direct ties with food companies that produced grains and carbohydrates based products. And with those ties in mind, you can see why they constructed it the way that they did, with grains as the biggest block at the bottom, followed by fruit and veg, and then meat and dairy, and then fats and oils. There's literally zero evidence supporting the health of this pyramid. It's just pure corruption, and big food wanted to promote that low-fat diets are healthy, and that you should eat more grains because they're really good for you, but they're actually just really good for them because it's extremely profitable. Like they honestly should have just called this the food profitability pyramid because the things at the bottom, grains, are the most easy to profit off of. And then as you go higher up, like fruit and veg, it's a bit harder to profit off of. And then meat and fats are a lot harder to make substantial amounts of profits from. So what's wrong with this food pyramid and why has it made us so fat? So 82% of Americans believed that the food pyramid was the basis for a healthy eating plan. But obviously that didn't help them because obesity and diabetes were on the rise. And even though people were using fat sparingly and eating their grains like good little boys, following the notion that carbs are really good and fats are really bad for you, um... People were eating like 6 to 11 servings of grains a day. For context, that equals to 13 slices of bread in a single day or 11 bowls of cereal every day. Like that was legitimately the recommendation. And like think of how ridiculous that is. And the funny thing is you don't actually need carbs to survive at all. Like they are a non-essential nutrient. Your body needs proteins and fats to survive, but if you didn't eat a single carb for the rest of your life, you'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, so these companies would make a bunch of low-fat and fat-free products because fat is demonized, and then instead they just pump a bunch of sugar and carbs into these foods, and people would eat this shit up because it was recommended. So people will be slamming cookies, cereals, all that garbage because it was the biggest part of the food pyramid. Like for example, a kid following this typical food pyramid diet could have for breakfast cereal with a glass of orange juice. As a snack, they would have some crackers, maybe some cheese. And then for lunch, they would have a burger with some chips and a can of Coke. And then for dinner, they would have chicken nuggets, some bread rolls, and green beans. And this is all technically following the food pyramid, but you can't honestly look at that and tell me it's a healthy diet. And this is why most of the population is fat as fuck. Like if you just look at all the things at the bottom of the pyramid, cereal, bread, rice, pasta, these things are just refined carbohydrates that are really easy to overeat. They don't provide any actual nutrients to your body. And that makes it really easy for you to just continuously eat them, continuously consume all these calories without actually feeling full. Whereas things higher in the pyramid, like eggs, meat, dairy, butter, these things are actually full of nutrients and will actually keep you full. And it will make it very hard to overeat. Like no one's going to get fat from eating too much fucking steak. It's just impossible. And so this is essentially why 
two thirds of the world are fat. They just eat too many carbs. It's that simple. And that included me. I fell for this thing as well. I used to think that this was the right way to eat. You know, for most of my life, I would always need to have a bunch of bread or a bunch of rice or a bunch of pasta with every meal because I thought that was the healthy thing to do. I was so deep in the brainwashing that meals just didn't feel complete unless I had a very generous serving of grain. And that's why I was always a bit chubby until pretty recently. And in recent years, I've been able to get the leanest I've ever been just by doing one simple switch. I just flipped the pyramid upside down and did the opposite of what the traditional food pyramid recommended. Well, I'd actually slightly modify this and I would group meat, dairy, and fats all together at the biggest base of the pyramid. Just because eating a bunch of meat and dairy will naturally give you enough fats for a healthy diet. So yeah, at the bottom, I would have meat, dairy, fats. At the base, you, my diet would consist mostly of these things. And then obviously next you would have vegetables and fruit. I didn't eat that many vegetables, but I would have, I would have a lot of fruit. Um, so that would be your secondary pillar. And then lastly, at the top, you would have grains. But honestly, I wouldn't even bother adding in grains because there's just no point. There's no nutrients in them. I mean, I eat them a bit in moderation, purely for pleasure's sake. But you don't need to like intentionally plan to make sure you get some every day. Because meats and fats have all the nutrients you'll ever need to survive. And no, red meat and saturated fats do not clog your arteries. That is just a scam from research done by the grain industry to try and scare people from eating meats and to buy grains instead. So eat as much meat as you want, have a bit of fruit and veg, avoid grains. So if you want to learn more about the specific details of my diet and how I got lean, I'll pop a link to that video somewhere where I show how anyone can easily get a six pack by following an animal-based diet.